Welcome back to Icono Classic. Today I'm going to be working on polishing my teapot SU SU teapot round top carburetor on my 1973 Datsun 240Z, Eliza for short. Um, so to get it this clean, you know, uh, as as aluminum ages, it gets all corroded. This white chalky nonsense builds up. Uh, as the aluminum itself corrodes, uh, that is the corrosion, as if, that's what I meant. Um, so to get that off, we use a soft wire wheel, just like this, this one specifically. Um, and you know, a lot of brushing and wire wheeling, soft wire wheeling, make sure it's not too aggressive, it'll just gouge right into the aluminum. Uh, I use different degreasers to clean out the insides make that all nice and now I'm ready to use a couple uh, you know a few step process to polish them uh, first we're gonna use aluminum brightener comes in a spray bottle spray it on leave it on for a couple seconds and then just kind of scrub it around with my handy little scrubby scotch bright after that you want to wash it off and make sure you wear gloves because this stuff is really caustic make sure you don't get it on your clothes or anything your skin uh, neutralize it with water and after that we're going to wire wheel it again um, the brightener brightens it and the wire wheel will polish it after that the final step is to coat it with an oil in order to you know take it out you know so it doesn't continue to corrode more and make all your work for naught. without any further ado I'm gonna get started gonna start off with the aluminum brightener just you know spray it around and wherever it sits is where it'll it'll react with the aluminum if you like miss a spot that spot will remain a little island of tarnished aluminum let it sit for about 10 seconds you can fast forward through this part so I started Smearing it around and using the scratch bright to really lift up the uh, well dirt that's stuck on, as well as working it into and polishing. I don't know what the words are. The metal, the aluminum, and there's already I can see a huge difference, and that's science for you. Now I'm currently working on the second one. First one is uh, polished to where I want it and I have dried it off. Uh, shout out to my dad. My dad's camera manning right now. Thank you, dad. Anytime. Trying to like do this is like, yeah, doesn't work out. So, Papa, why does one want to wet, uh, dry off wet aluminum? It will continue to oxidize as the water evaporates. Wow. That's intense. When you're done with this process, you've stripped all the oils off and you have the aluminum as bright as it's going to get. And it's in a raw state, so it's going to start oxidizing immediately. And that's why you want to get some kind of oil on it. I want to have oil. We have engine oil. YouTube confessions right here. We don't have oil. I don't have, well, yeah, we have that kind of oil. Yeah, I mean, so we can ask them what it, oh, on some levels, oil is oil. We oh, could use vegetable history, oil. Right? Okay. Crisco, Mazzola extra virgin olive oil. Vegetable oil. 50 weight. Yeah. Yeah, in the old race cars, they used to use castor bean oil. Wow. And you For could the... smell it when they ran them. Castor oil, yeah. Ah. Disaster averted. <laughs> 
I have made the decision to add a step in the process. So I've used the mag cleaner, aluminum brightener on this, scrubbed it down, washed it off. As you can see, bring it over to some light. It's much brighter, well, uh, cleaner looking, uh, brighter, whiter. Um, and so now I'm going to be using this. It's a brass polish, but you know, aluminum polish, whatever polish. Uh, you want using some steel wool, and I'm going to polish the the, uh, the teapots like such. So this is the teapot after using the brass polish on it. So as you can see, it's already pretty shiny. It looks really good, especially in the light. Now I'm going to use a soft wire bristled appendage thing on a drill. Wire wheel is fine. Soft wire wheel um use this to polish it even more and make it even more shiny i'm gonna here that's a i already started you can see that's the difference that's the shiny part that's the non extra shiny kind of hard to tell this area um it might not be necessary but these are going to be on top in prominent view so i want to make them look a little bit nicer and uh, I'm gonna get to it. All right, and so here is the before. This is what they look like after using the mag cleaner and using the polish with steel wool. And over here, this is the one that I used a soft bristle uh, wire brush on, wire wheel, as it were. Uh, as you can see, it's like much shinier. It's not 100% even. I think I'm gonna try to do it some more and even it out make it more uniformly shiny, but, um, you know, almost, almost mirror like I would say, you know, getting there, definitely getting there. Uh, so I'm really pleased with that process. That's really cool. Make sure again that, you know, you're using a soft bristle, soft, uh, a soft, softer wire wheel. I started off with one too strong, too stiff. You can see, I have some scratches, some stuff that I need to take care of. Um, but yeah, that's, that's the process. Uh, next up, I'm going to use, I have to pick it up actually, but I'm going to use uh, some different treatments to seal it up and keep it from, keep it from, what's the word? Keep it from, you know, corroding. And make, yeah, get all chalky and nasty again. So that is that one. I'm gonna continue on the other one. And then, you know, I guess on, Another day, I'm gonna to have to pick up that stuff to seal it up with. All right. And here we have the finished product. It looks really good. Uh, certainly a lot nicer than it did. Um, so we, you know, we went through, did the wire wheel, used mag cleaner, polish, repeat as needed. Uh, and here, I know, wet sand, steel wool. Uh, we finished it off with a product called S100 Detail and Wax. Uh, they sell it, you know, you could buy it at like a Harley Davidson dealership. They sell it for motorcycles. You could use it on anything aluminum. It's like a, some kind of wax spray that it seals it up and doesn't allow it to corrode. So I hope this helped you out. I'm really excited about the end result. And uh, peace, love. I'm out.